Well, how's it going, YouTube? Um, today we are going to do a little different kind of video. We're going to do a tackle video. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages um, and comments, and people want to know like how I uh, troll. Um, I I don't troll the same as everybody else does. I have my little own technique to it and I figured I'd share um, some things that maybe could help you troll on your body of water or um, maybe something that uh, you never thought of. Uh, first things first, I want to introduce myself. Um, for you guys that don't know me, my name is Brandon Warner. Um, I love to fish, I love to hunt, um, and I am a welder uh, during the week for my job. I was fortunate enough to learn about trolling off of a friend of mine that fishes Lake Erie a lot and he's really good he knows a lot he um, he showed me a lot of his techniques and what I did was I processed those in and I just tried to downsize everything as well as simplify some things that he did and a lot of guys I take fishing with me may not know how to troll so I just try to make it as simple as possible and um, when you get into being simple and downsizing um, you're saving a little bit of money as well um, and it's a lot of research online so any of these things you see here um, I can leave the descriptions um, the links uh, in the comments underneath my uh, video and then you guys can click on them and purchase them if you would like to so uh, let's dive into this thing okay I uh, I troll with two different things I troll with crankbaits and I troll with nightcrawler harnesses um, I think both have their own time and place to be ran uh, the crankbaits that I use um, on a daily basis are Berkeley flicker shads and Berkeley flicker minnows uh, depending on some lakes, sometimes the minnows do better, sometimes the shads do better. Um, I think it's just because of the different types of baits in those lakes. But right here, like here is a Berkeley Flicker Minnow that I have ran. That's a great color. You'll notice with a lot of my colors, I love oranges, I love chartreuses, I love whites, I love blacks. Um, so here's, a, here's another Flicker Minnow, purple. Purple is a great color as well. These are great baits. One thing I like about the Berkeley line of baits is they are not very expensive. Um, you can pick up a lot of baits and they have a lot of colors and styles. Here's a Flicker Shad that we like to run at one of our home lakes. That is in a racy shad color, great color. It's produced a lot of fish for us. Um, here's a perch color. That's a great color. That's more of a natural. And we got, this is a little smaller size. Um, I, I run all different sizes. This is called a mouse. It's more like a, a straight a shad color bait. Yeah, I run all different sizes. Um, normally start out small in the spring and then work my way bigger and bigger and bigger baits towards the end of the year. Now these baits right here, these next two I'm going to show you have caught us a lot of fish this year. If you watch my first video I ever made, these two baits were the MVPs of that trip. And they're new this year. These are called the jointed flicker shads. You can see they have the jointed tail on the end. It gives them more of a snaky um, swim. That's a smelt color, great, great color. And then here's our last one, another jointed that's in a perch color. That bait has done awesome for us as well. Now when I troll these, um, I'm not, I try to catch walleye. I'm a big walleye fisherman, but I fish for a little bit of everything. With these baits, one thing that surprises a lot of people is you can catch any species of fish on these baits. We catch a lot of crappie, a lot of big crappie. We catch a little bit of everything, and that's what's fun because you don't always know what's going to be on the end of your rod. So it's fun. Um, if you get a chance, pick up some Berkeley Flicker Shads and Flicker Minnows, and you'll be catching fish. The next thing that I like to troll is a Nightcrawler Harness. 
any Nightcrawl harness that I've ran, I liked. There isn't really any that I've had any problems with. Um, a lot of guys make their own. A lot of guys just buy them. I do both. Um, they last forever for me, and I like them all. Um, here's just a couple blades. Some some Nightcrawler harnesses, I'll just switch out some blades. But, like, uh, here's some colors I run. I like purples as well. Uh, obviously, I like purples. Copper back. Copper back is always a hot producer. Here's like a pink squirrel color. That's a hot one. Purple demon. Black and purple. This one has a pink on the back. This one's been a really nice blade for me. Um, just basic stuff. I mean, I'm just looking for something to stick out with the colors I like. like something like that. Um, nothing too fancy. They don't have to be real long. Just a nice nightcrawler harness. Get a nice nightcrawler on the back of them and you're fishing. Um, when I run nightcrawler harnesses, this is very important. I run an inline weight. That inline weight right there is a half ounce. You hook your main line to the top and your harness off the back. And this is what gets your nightcrawler harness down to your depth that you need. Nightcrawler harnesses... Um, They've just caught really quality fish for me. They don't always catch the most, but they catch quality fish. One thing different about trolling a nightcrawler harness and trolling a crankbait is I feel like the nightcrawler harness needs to be checked more, that it's running pure down in the water. Check, make sure the nightcrawler's not, not bit off or broken. Where the, the crankbait, as long as you see that tip doing the vibration, normally it's running good so that's that's a big thing just to look forward to one thing that I use for both nightcrawler harnesses and crankbaits is there is an app called precision trolling app that app allows you to know what depth you're running these at as well as a lot of the all of the flicker shads and flicker minnows come with a dive chart on the back and you can just use that. Um, they're on every package you buy. And you can use that to know what depth you're running at. Um, so that helps a lot. Uh, probably m one of my favorite tools when it comes to trolling is this guy right here. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. This is a planer board. This is an offshore tackle OR38 planer board. What this does is it's pretty much a big bobber. This gets your lines out away from the boat and it makes it easier to one, not get them tangled, and two, you can get more rods in the water. I like watching them because like I said, I think I can tell bites with these better than I can a rod tip. Um, these are the smallest you can get. And like I said, I like to downsize. Um, guys on big water run big boards. I like these small boards. A crappie will bury this board under the water. I like that. Um, these are a great tool to have in your boat. One thing nice about the small ones is all you have to do is take this clip off and you can hook it to the other side and it'll be a left board. When you, you're dealing with other big style boards, you got to buy rights and lefts. First, what you're going to do is you're going to set your bait out to your depth that you want whatever that dive charter app says set it to that and let it go once you get to that that feed out that you want you're gonna run a line through here take your line just crimp it on there and then you're gonna pull a little bit of slack and pull slack and you're gonna crimp this red one this red one has a little nipple on it that's gonna stay on your line at all times that way you don't lose the board this one will pull away as you apply pressure when you jerk up on it so once you hook these two up you're just gonna let those out and they'll just slide out to the side and you can stack three boards on both sides if you want you know 50 feet apart from each other they won't tangle up that's one thing nice about having these boards you don't have to have boards if you want to straight line them that's perfectly fine a buddy of mine loves to straight line them I let them straight line them and he likes to feel that thump, which I don't blame him because I do as well. Um, I like to finesse fish just as much as I like to troll. Um, but sometimes trolling 
can turn a bad day into a good day. So it's nice to know how to do both. Really the only other um, little um, accessories that I have is just a, a rod holder. You don't have to have rod holders, but these are very inexpensive. And I like them not only for trolling, but I like them for, um, you know, bobber fishing or jigging. And you can just set a rod in there and just have it sitting there, tip with a minnow or whatever. But um, yeah, you can run a rod straight out at zero degrees or you can ro run a rod up at 30 degrees. Great for trolling. Driftmaster is the uh, brand that makes these and they're just, I just have these sliding on a uh, Trax Tech uh, base and I love these things. Um, I'll leave a description below if you want to check these Driftmaster rod holders out. Then last but not least, um, one little tip that I've used more this year than I have in the past is I have been tipping my crankbaits with um, some scent. Um, this is Liquid Mayhem. Uh, this is my first year using this. It's a shad scent. All you do, um, it's more of an experiment thing. Run one crankbait with nothing on it. Run one and put a little bit of jelly on that bill. That just what that's going to do is that's going to leave a little bit of scent behind the crankbait. Might trigger an extra bite, might not. Um, one trip this year, this helped out a lot, and I wasn't really sure to believe in it, but I believe so. Um, Liquid Mayhem. I get this stuff from Fisherman Central here in Northeast Ohio. Great store. Check them out. I'll leave a link below. Liquid Mayhem. And then here's some Pro Cure, some Walleye Pro Cure. This is this is real popular stuff up on Lake Erie. So I I don't use this as much, um, but it works. It works well. So I appreciate you guys watching uh, this little tackle video. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a while. If you guys have any comments or want to know um, something about trolling, or if you want to see something on the on one of my next episodes, just shoot a comment, message me, and I'd be gladly to do it. Um, and I think that's all I have for you guys. So uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, and uh, hopefully um, we'll have some more content for you guys coming here shortly. Um, I just got off the water today, did a little bass trip with my cousin, and it was really hot. Um, didn't do very well, um, but I might have a few clips from that. So um, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you guys on the water.